Hello, this is uh, Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and we have had some uh, questions from the peanut gallery about uh, running. Specifically, how much running is too much running, how much running is not enough running. And the question that I got was, running four days a week, is that too much? And the answer to that is no. Well, okay, it depends. The answer is, it depends. Are you good at running? If you have good running dynamics and you're efficient because you've been trained or you started running when you were a kid and you kept running your whole life and you didn't get hurt or do anything weird, then yeah, you can run a lot if you're good at it. If you're bad at running, then yeah, you probably shouldn't do it all that much until you get stronger and your joints line up better. We understand that running one long straight route all the time is not great for us. We used to call it like our 45 minutes of higher heart rate cardio, but now we know that there's just better ways to do that. Better ways to do that are putting a bunch of skills in a row and doing them for time. So examples of that would be like tack fit body weight training. CrossFit is a version of putting a bunch of different stuff in a row. CrossFit tends to be much higher heart rate, uh, putting a bunch of different things in a row and then doing it for X period of time as our cardio. What we are looking to accomplish in fitness is we wanna move our body in all six directions that it can move in. So if we wanna use running for that, then versions of running that do that. Something that's gotten really popular in the last couple of years is obstacle coursing, where you run and then you arrive at something and you have to figure out how to get over it. That's much better than just long, slow distance running. Obstacle courses now happen everything from like ninja warrior length, which is really just obstacle, 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 to uh, longer Spartan uh, obstacle course races now are various lengths. I think my friend was training for one that was five miles. So that's like 20, I can't remember how many obstacles it was, 20 obstacles or something he was training for in five miles. So that's like reasonable. That's like there is a run in between obstacles. My favorite version of uh, running training now is free running or parkour, technically parkour, the escape and evasion version of free running, which now has tricking and all kinds of other stuff in it. Because you're learning to run, once again, to obstacles, do them, and then get over them, and then you continue to run. How often can you run? You can really run, you know, seven days a week. You know, hunter-gatherer tribes in Africa, they run real huge distances all the time. There's a great book on this topic, it's called Born to Run. It uh, explains a lot about running, but when you're training for, thing, uh, training for long distance running, if you're not a very good runner, then you wanna do specifically other types of strengthening and movement activities in order to make your body strong enough to sustain the load of constantly moving into the ground and absorbing force up through your skeleton. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica with some thoughts on running, interval running versus slow long distance cardio.